Alright guys, today I wanted to make a video just giving a bit of a review on uh, Leicester's season so far. And it's not gone great, has it? Let's be honest. Uh, they're currently 17th in the league, not where they want it to be at all. It was a tough summer transfer window for them. And in the Cups, it's not been uh, horrendously bad. They went out in the FA Cup in the fifth round to Blackburn, which was... A poor result, but in the EFL Cup they managed to reach the, uh, the quarter-final before a loss to Newcastle. So yeah, not too bad in the Cups, but uh, in, in the league it's just been so inconsistent. They started off with a terrible run. Then in October, when they had signed White Fass and properly introduced him to the team, um, they started to get a bit more success and a few results started to come. I think they went on a, a run of six games where they won four, I think, and uh, possibly drew another. Then since around maybe just before the World Cup, it, it's been back to poor results, really. And they had a couple of res decent results recently against Aston Villa and Tottenham, but then an another run of bad results. So it's been bad run, good run, bad run, good run. But the problem is that the bad runs tend to last a lot longer than the good runs for Leicester this season. So uh, that that's why they are currently in a big relegation battle. So, yeah, uh, the, the best starting eleven for me, I think, is Danny Ward in goal. I think that's fairly obvious. A back four of, even though he hasn't played much until recently, Ricardo Pereira, I just think once he gets a good run of games going and if he can stay fit for a while, he will get back to his best and his best. He is one of the best fullbacks in the league, in my opinion. Very underrated player um, and, and has been a big miss for Leicester this season. Then centre-backs have gone with White Fass, who, uh, even though he's had some shocking performances this season, I think overall it's not been a bad debut season in the Premier League for him. And alongside him, I've put Harry Souter, who was always going to have a bit of a difficult time in his, you know, the first season in the Premier League after being promoted up from the Championship in uh, the winter transfer window, having played for Stoke City the first half of the season. But, you know, he, he's not done horrendously badly. He's made a few mistakes and I don't think he's kept a clean sheet yet, but I don't, that, that's more of a team uh, effort rather than an individual player. And then left-back Timothy Castagna can play either side and has been one of Le Leicester's uh, better players this season, I think. Uh, and then two holding midfielders have gone with Dewsbury Hall, who, yeah, another one of Leicester's best players this season. You know what you're going to get with him. You're never going to get below uh, a 6 out of 10 performance, uh, like, regularly with him. Uh, and alongside him, I've put uh, Nampolis Mendy, who... I, when I've seen him play this season, I've been a lot more impressed with him than I have with the likes of uh, Yuri Tielemans and Wilfred Ndidi, who have been brilliant for Leicester in uh, previous seasons. But this year, Ndidi struggled with fitness, uh, as he has done th throughout his Leicester career at times. And Tielemans, I just don't think, has been pulling his weight enough in this uh, Leicester team, to be honest. Um, I, I just think... He seems disinterested at times, so I wouldn't put him in the starting eleven. And then uh, a th sort of like three attacking players behind the striker in this uh, four-two-three-one. I've gone with Tete on the right, uh, new signing in January, and had a couple of decent games uh, against Aston Villa where he scored. And I also thought uh, there was another game as well. I think it might have been the Tottenham one where I th thought, uh, even though I only watched the highlights of it, um, he, he he seemed to uh, get the better of uh, Ben Davis on on I think it was Ben Davis on a f quite a few occasions. James Madison and Harvey Barnes, first two names on the team sheet for Leicester. Let's be honest. And then up front, I've gone with Pat Zendaka this season. I think he's probably been Leicester's best striker. I think Jamie Vardy, um, it, it, his new role in this Leicester team is uh, a super sub, and I say super sub. The goals aren't coming for him at all this season. He, I think he's only got one in the Premier League. So, you know, it, it, it was the inevitable, really. At some point, he was going to have to sort of like be shifted out of this Leicester team. I mean, he's, is he 36? He might even be 37 this year. You know, he, he's been he's he's been phenomenal for Leicester for so long now. So, 
you know, it's, it's about time. Uh, I've, I think Dak is just a bit more consistent than Ian Acho. Ian Acho has like purple patches throughout a season, but can never really maintain them for long enough to hold down a starting spot, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I've gone with uh, Pats and Dacker, and that's my starting 11. For Leicester, um, manager Brendan Rodgers, oh, he's, he's done a good job overall at Leicester, we all know that. Uh, they had two consecutive seasons from 2019 to 2021 where he uh, got Leicester, you know, really pushing for a Champions League spot, which was, you know, almost above expectation. And he even had a good run in the Europa Conference League last year, but this year it's not been good enough. And I fear for him that um, if, if Leicester don't, you know, start to pull away from this relegation battle soon, his, his you know, position could be under threat. And it'd be a shame because I, I don't think too much of it is down to him, really. He's been dealt a, duff, a, dealt a difficult hand with... Um, like the finances in terms of what he can spend on players like in the summer just gone I think he spent a total of two million pounds so you know virtually nothing oh that was before they sound white fast I think actually but you know he, he's not had a lot of money to spend for a team that have been in European football for three successive seasons up until this one I think 2019 no 2020 no, maybe just the two seasons, but still, you know, you, you'd think they'd have a bit more money to spend with, um, as well as winning, you know, the, the FA Cup and the Community Shield. So, yeah, he's been dealt a difficult hand. So, yeah, I, f I feel a bit for him, but yeah, it, it, he's going to be, he's, he's going to be uh, under a bit of threat soon if results don't improve. Uh, and then I, I wanted to pick a few players who I think could improve this Leicester team in terms of uh, incoming players. Now, this was quite hard to do because it's unrealistic that Leicester are going to be spending much money in the next 18 months or so. So I've gone with a, a goalkeeper in uh, Fraser Forster. His market value is £2 million. I think Tottenham are going to sign a new goalkeeper in the summer because they, they need to. And yeah, I, I think he'd be suited to uh, Brendan Rodgers' team because he is a goalkeeper who likes to come off his line quickly. So yeah, I think he'd be a good short-term fix uh, as a replacement for Kasper Schmeichel because Danny Ward sort of stepped up to it and has been good at times this season, but I, d I don't think he's quite the level of where Leicester wants to be in the league to have him as a starting goalkeeper. I think he's a good backup goalkeeper. But um, yeah, and then I think they could do with a couple of attacking players in terms of maybe a winger or someone someone who can cover a winger and a number 10 role, it just because we don't know if James Madison's going to go in the summer. And also, I, th I think someone like Harvey Barnes, they're very reliant on him as well. So, you know, they, they need options. And I haven't been able to pick two players specifically, but I've, I've picked... It, it, <laughs> Someone, I've picked two players who I think that they should sign someone like them if they can find them for a very cheap price. Now, obviously, it's going to find some hard to, be hard to find someone as good as Jamal Musiala and Marcus Rashford, who are the two players I've picked. But I think with Musiala, a very good finisher, very good dribbler, and can shoot from distance. They need someone like him if if that if Madison is to leave in the summer. And also with Rashford, he's, you know, similar playing style to Harvey Barnes, but maybe you get a bit more output with Rashford. Barnes isn't bad, but uh, he's a very good finisher, cuts inside a lot and, uh, you, you know, it's, it's just lightning quick as well. So I, I think someone like him would do the team, uh, the world a good for, just for options. But yeah, in, in summary, Leicester are having a poor season. And it's tough to see how they go forward from here with the problems they've got with spending money right now.